Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here we have today is the high grade Bill Divers Gundam Love Phantom. Now this is a mobile suit that was made by McGee and I just absolutely love it. I love McGee as a character in, in Bill Divers. Honestly, McGee is probably the only character that I can honestly say I really like. Um, I don't really care much about uh, the main characters. Uh, Ko Konichi or Koichi? Yeah, Koichi, uh, he's an okay character. I like him. Um, but I would say, like, the main protagonists, like Riku um, and uh, Yuki, like, I just, I don't care about them, to be honest. And I didn't really care too much about the show. But every time McGee had screen time, I was just, like, really happy because he's very uh, outgoing. He's always, like, he's always happy. This dude's never, like, never uh, upset. And uh, he definitely has um, certain kind of assets about him that uh, definitely stands out. But uh, nonetheless, let's talk about this mobile suit. Well, looking at the front cover art, I mean, it looks really cool. Uh, definitely has a Death Scythe vibe, but a lot of this is not Death Scythe whatsoever. Uh, this definitely is more of the Strike Freedom and Strike Noir, uh, but it does have a Beam Scythe right here. So I guess you can kind of say it's a little bit like an homage to what the uh, Death Scythe is. Uh, but over here in the back, you do have a nice moon uh, present right behind. So I think this, uh, this cover art looks pretty awesome. This was released in 2018. Retails at 2200 yen, and is number 19 in the Bill Divers line. So we're taking a look on the side of the box, uh, we basically have different actions. Now one thing I didn't notice, I, I never noticed this throughout the entire series, is that the uh, little like head jewel is actually shaped like a heart. I never knew this until I uh, took a glimpse on the side of the box, I'm like, oh, I was like, that's that's actually pretty cool. So uh, you did definitely have that reenacted, and then you have like just some little cool poses. You have the uh, Love Striker, the Beam Sickle, you have the Striker Scythe. So really, really cool armaments overall. And over here, you just have more of like kind of like different poses you can go ahead and pull them off in. Uh, definitely has like long range attacks as well as uh, pretty much primary in the close range department, but uh, definitely versatile of a mobile suit. And over here, you just see you can utilize those wings. Um, if you're really into it, cool. I don't really know too many mobile suits that I can really just slap these on and I'll be happy with it because it's just such a it's such a main gimmick. So it, I guess if you really want angel wings on a mobile suit, then you could definitely go ahead and do that. And over here, you just get a rear and front shot of a undetailed, and unpainted kit. And if you want to go ahead and read this, you can definitely pause right now and go ahead and read it. Okay, so we'll take a look at the runners. The first two we're going to take a look at is A1 and A2. A2 just being an extension of this one right here. Uh, so what this is, is going to be the high grade uh, Strike Freedom. Now this is the 2016 release Strike Freedom, not like the really, really old one from the early 2000s. Uh, looks really good, details are fine. Uh, the color is what I consider to be a violet, uh, like a, a purplish color. Uh, but maybe some people kind of see um, pink. But hey, if you see pink, cool. If not, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking it's more violet than anything. But the details overall do not look bad whatsoever. So uh, pretty excited about this. And I'm pretty sure you're not going to use the vast majority of them, especially like some of these weapon parts. Uh, but we'll take a look at that in the manual. And next one we're taking a look at is going to be B1. Now this is still uh, the Strike Freedom stuff. So looks pretty good overall. Uh, just a basic black and it's going to be more for the chest, the backpack right here. Uh, this looks like maybe for the weapon. Um, I think this might be for the weapon. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much about it. This should be for like, the backpack, which uh, should not be used. And next is going to be Runner C, which uh, once again is going to be uh, the Strike Freedom. So you got a lot of yellow over here. You got some white in this area. Uh, you have a clear piece for that nice little like uh, beam shield, which might be used uh, for the kit, but we'll definitely go ahead and see. And you have a little V-Fin, which I don't think that's going to be used at, at all. So uh, don't really have to worry about that. And next we're going to have is going to be E2 and E1, which once again is still the Strike Freedom. So... Um, get put in this away uh, this is all primarily gonna be the joints now you do have some open hands right here which I'm very very happy about because I love open hands I love different types of hands other than these kind of like more basic ones that you know you just kind of like plug a weapon into uh, these are really cool and sometimes I do wish they included some fists uh, but maybe that might be uh, asking for a little bit too much but yeah that's pretty much about it for this runner just uh, more inner frame parts Okay, now we're getting into some of the more original parts. So this is 100% original parts right here. You get two of them, which is going to be for the uh, the backpack. Uh, you got parts for like the foot right here. Uh, this is going to be the uh, the shoulders. I don't know what this is. I think that might be for the forearms. And then um, yeah, but I know this should definitely be for the uh, the little wing binders. 
And then another set of original parts. Now this is all, well, once again, that like violet color. And this is gonna be more for the backpack. So uh, originally I thought they were gonna use like the Strike New York, um kind of like backpack from like the old high grade which I'm very happy they didn't uh, because that would probably look really really weird having a very old uh, backpack on such an updated mobile suit so this looks really good and you do get the scythe right here uh, but yeah just get two little runners and you get like the little scythe pieces right here and all the other little wing parts and next we're gonna have runner K which is once again another original uh, runner so you get some parts right up here some of these white parts uh, the little face plate uh, you get some black parts right here for the backpack uh, you get some parts for the head and looks like this parts for the waist if I'm not mistaken uh, then you get the V fin and some little yellow bits all around here but yeah doesn't look too bad at all and the last runners that you're going to have is going to be L1 and L2. These are going to be original runners that are for this kit. And uh, they look like more, more or less just inner frame parts, so looks pretty good overall. And here you have the beam scythe, which is a nice little green. And this is a new part as well. You do get some little poly caps. And you have a very, very small sticker sheet, which is just going to be for the head. So you have the eyes and the little cameras, and then that's going to be it. Now, lastly, let's take a look at the manual. Overall, it looks pretty good. Uh, you do have some description stuff right here. So if you want to go ahead and pause and look at that, you definitely can. Uh, but overall, it looks pretty good. You got uh, McGee right there. And if we look on the inside, I'm going to kind of just turn to um, the very, very beginning page. See how many parts is actually going to be omitted. So look at runner a right there you got some parts that are going to be x'd out you got runner a2 more parts b1 has a buttload of parts that's going to be uh omitted you got some c parts you got uh, a couple of e1s e2 and then all like all these little new parts are actually going to be uh pretty much used yeah it looks like everything is going to be used from that point on except for some polycaps but other than that uh yeah mainly a lot of these parts uh that came with the old um Strike Freedom, well, not really too old, but the uh, the Strike Freedom, that's not going to be utilized. So, construction looks very, very simple. You got the body, you have the head, start working on the arm, and then if we, ugh, if we look on this side, pretty much all very, very simple. Nothing crazy going on in this manual whatsoever, so overall we are going to have a very, very simple build. But once we get to the backpack, it might be a little more um, clustered, but shouldn't be too bad and here it kind of just shows you some of the gimmicks of the backpack itself and then you can kind of like customize it by interchanging some things and you got some more color construction of backpack construction of the scythe and more gimmicks and usage of the backpack itself uh, and then the last little page right here kind of shows you what the material gunpla is so that was the strike freedom and then up here Looks pretty good, just some nice little details on the weapons and the uh, poses, and definitely shows you the color guy. So it's actually purple. It says, if I can go ahead and zoom in, so it says purple part. So I was right, it's not pink, it's definitely purple. I just think that I'm kind of like semi colorblind, or at least I don't know my colors, but that's it, guys. Uh, so other than that, definitely thank you for watching. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe if you have not already, and I'll be seeing you guys in the review for this kit sometime early this week. Bye bye.